good morning guys welcome back to our channel if you are new here we are a minimalist family who is living big with less and right now we are at crunch time of our move we have found a place and we are like days away from moving but oh my gosh we have to because of where the real estate is we've got to go up and sign all the documents before we can move which means driving all the way up there just to drive all the way back which is annoying and it takes up time which we don't really have so today I am going to get cracking as best I can tomorrow they are showing this house to potential renters so I need to also start cleaning and I've been moving everything downstairs to our garage which is we've just been parking on the road which is fine so that is such a good tip if you have a garage or a spare room or anywhere you can move the stuff that is ready to be moved and get it out of your head and out of your area that is a game changer so today I'm going to be moving as much as I can downstairs and I'm going to pack up this pantry because my mother-in-law bless her heart is making dinner for us for the next couple of days so I can pack up anything that's not sort of snacky breakfast school lunch stuff and I can get that packed away ready to go and <laughs> hopefully we can get out of this Hamish has been sick I'm not feeling 100% so we're going to do the best we can. Thankfully, we have a really manageable amount of stuff. I'll show you what's going on downstairs and all the stuff we've already done. And let's get to it. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit no matter where I'm packing, I always like to clean up and organize as I'm packing. So anything I don't think we're going to eat or if I can get rid of any excess packaging, that is exactly what I'm going to do. We have been eating down our pantry, but this is the perfect time to clean out any of those things that have been lurking in the back. So if you have been watching my channel for any length of time, you've probably seen me clean this closet very, very often. It's just where we get ready every day and it gets a lot of high use. And of course, I'm still going to be needing this closet till we move. But one of the things I do is just preparing the way so that we're on moving day, all I'm going to need to do is put lids on those boxes. And I know that everything here has already been gone through. It's organized and ready to go. Guys, I have had a, such a love-hate relationship with these windows and I'm 
it's bittersweet to let go of that view but I will not miss cleaning those windows every week to make them seeable but I've just realized that in our new house we have like a million mirrored wardrobes so I'm thinking I might need to take out shares in Windex. Now I'm just moving on to my husband's office and our teenage son's room. I'm just packing up all of his knickknacks as well as anything off the walls and trying to fit them all into one box. Um, he'll actually have his own room at the new house so we're so excited to decorate it for him. Didn't I reassure you? Did you ever all right guys. The time is now, I don't know, I just took my clock off the wall. I don't even know what time it is. The time is two o'clock. I have cleaned almost all the windows. What is it? Can you hear the wind making a noise? He's not feeling very well. We have taken almost all the stuff downstairs. I would say say at least 50%, if not more, is downstairs. So I, we're getting close to school pickup and then most days after I pick up the girls from school, we go to the playground for a little while and it just lets the kids run off some energy, especially because Hamish has been inside, but he's not 100% today, so he's had a pretty crazy day. I now, my house is pretty crazy. I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, I need to get it ready for this inspection tomorrow because our real estate is showing people through tomorrow. It's crazy, guys. Moving is so crazy. Anyway, but the good news is that we have found a new house and we are so in love with it. The best news is it has a separate laundry. In all of the houses I have owned, I've never had an actual laundry that wasn't either like it is here in the bathroom or in the garage. And so I am super de duper excited to have a laundry because then my guests won't have to walk through my laundry to get to the bathroom. I actually secretly like love clean laundry. I have like a real thing about it. So I'm like, it's gonna be my place. My place will be my laundry. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you guys. We have so many plans. It's gonna be awesome. Big, big changes for us as a family, but really positive stuff. So we've started to say goodbye to our friends here, which has been super tough. Like ugly crying boogers you name it that's how it's been but we only live an hour away and to be honest like in the big city lots of people have to come there to like go to the airport or that's where the theme parks are and things like that so we are really hoping our friends from here will still come and stay with us and hang out and we because we used to live in the city like we already have a great group of friends there so we are so excited it's going to be great it's just, it's just right now, it's, it's all happening and it's stressful. But it'll be great once we do it. Like just miracles have happened. Like with the new house, with this house, with provision of finances, guys. It's just been amazing. So for all of you who are of the praying persuasion, who have 
been thinking of us, like thank you so much because we've had miracles happen. So I'm gonna show you our moving day and like show you just how much all of our stuff looks like. Hopefully we'll get it into one truck. That would be amazing. But we have the best friends on the planet. So we have our friends here in um, our little town that are gonna help us and then friends in the city that are gonna help us up that end. So hallelujah. Anyway, um, I'm going to get going. I've got to start cleaning because these people are coming tomorrow. And what I think I might do is just do a really quick pick up of the floor because I keep going to look at my clock, which is no longer there. It's now five past two. So I've got probably 20 minutes that I can quickly clean up stuff out here put the robot on while I'm gone so then it'll all be vacuumed by the time I get home and then after I put the kids to bed tonight, I can give everything a steam mop. So let's do it guys. Okay guys, here is the current state of my living room kitchen area. It's not super bad, but it's um it's not great either <laughs> complicated but the line is crossed I'm waiting for a sincere apology but you can't when you're with me you need to find a way but you can't when you're with me you can with everyone else just not me So guys, I thought you might enjoy to see us pack literally all our stuff onto this truck. It is very early on a Saturday morning, as you can see by the fact that my toddler is still in his pajamas and all of our sweet friends have come to help us pack this truck. And we have moved most of the stuff already downstairs into the garage, but we're just bringing down the last of that stuff so that we can order it onto the truck correctly and make sure that we get all of the big things in first. I turn my head around to see if the stalker is you, but all I see is so guys, a lot of the stuff that you can see in the right hand corner is actually from 
our side business. I don't know if we've really talked about this on the channel before, but we have a side business where we sell retro games and game consoles. And so we have quite a few boxes of inventory for that business. And we, it was all stored in Caleb's office cupboard. Um, but once we get to the new house, we really want to order it all a little bit better so that it's easier for us to get it shipped out. But any of you who have a business know that, you know, it takes up space and time. And so this is something we're really looking forward to working on in our new home, but it's been a great business for us. So one of the great things is that a lot of our furniture was flat packed so we were able to disassemble it to move it and now one of the biggest things we had to get on was our washer dryer. It also weighs a ton so it was a miracle the boys got it down the stairs. You will notice that we didn't bring our fridge with us. The seals on the fridge had actually come right off so we decided that we would just leave it here in Ballina. Um, we donated it to one of the local centers who can fix it up and then on sell it and we have bought a new fridge for our new home. So guys, as you can see, this we fit everything onto one truck. This is pretty much everything we have, and it all fit on this one truck with room to spare. So that is one of the blessings of being a minimalist is that it does make it much easier to move. And we were able to get it all on and unpacked at the new house all like by early afternoon, which was great. you guys enjoyed this video if you're new here we would absolutely love to have you subscribe and join our community here are some other videos we think you might like and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up it just lets me know that you'd like more videos like that and i'll catch you guys in the next one